This morning, we are looking back at the life and legacy of former Jacksonville Mayor Jake Godbold. He died yesterday at the age of 85, an outspoken advocate for the people of Jacksonville until the very end. Many credit him with bringing our city into the spotlight. Now, while he served as mayor from 1978 to 1987, he transformed the city with high profile development projects and he spearheaded the efforts to bring an NFL team right here to Jacksonville. On your sides, Renata DiGregorio. She joins us live this morning with the reaction from city leaders and a look back at Mayor Jake's life. Good morning. So many people told us that they say nobody loved Jacksonville like Jake Godbold did. And you know, it seems fitting to me that they put his name on the city annex here in the heart of the city. He came actually from a poor background, ended up being a huge champion for Jacksonville and the people here fighting for their rights, putting Jacksonville on the map. And his friends say that he really acted like the mayor even after he was done being mayor. And he maintained those friendships for his entire life. As mayor though, Godbold initiated a number of brick and mortar projects to revitalize the city's failing downtown. He started the efforts to get an NFL team here, which of course was the driving force to build up downtown. He also started the Jacksonville Jazz Festival, initiated the construction of the Jacksonville Landing, and he got funds for public housing that had been taken away by the federal government. If you're a first responder or even need help from a first responder sometime, you can thank Jake Godbold because he fought for first responders his entire life, boosting their salary and recently going to bat for their pension at City Hall. Also thanks to him, JFRD became the first department to respond with EMS. It's the energy just to do all of this that Godbold's friend and former sheriff Nat Glover says his legacy will be around for a very long time. People continue to talk about you long after you're gone. You earn that and, and I think that's exactly what will happen with Jake Garbo. He also says he can't remember another mayor that Jacksonville's black voters got so excited about. So coming up in the next half hour, we'll tell you a little bit more about how he left impacts on people personally. Let's hear from them coming up. Live downtown, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News on your side. And we have much more on the life and legacy of former mayor Jake Godbold right now on our First Coast News app and of course on our website at firstcoastnews.com.